Hi, this is Evan from buildelectroniccircuits.com. Tonight I'm going to build a prototype of a circuit that you can put into the soil of a plant and it will tell you when it needs to be watered. I got my bananas, I got my multimeter, I've got my coffee and my chocolate. So I'm pretty much set up for the night. Uh, here's the schematics that I am uh, have tried to draw and just had a couple of ideas there which I'm going to try. So I'll, I have no idea if this, this will work, I just, I'm just trying and um, just, uh, yeah, just testing to see if that's the correct schematics. To be able to test, I need to use some uh, components. The problem is that I only have this bag with just lots of lots of components um, without marking, so I have no idea what kind of uh, resistance it is on the on the stuff that I find here. All right, here's an LED. Here I have some old resistors. And the good thing about these resistors is that they have the actual resistor value written on them. So it's very easy to find the, uh, figure out which value they have. So I will uh, desolder this and just f try to f uh, make some proof, of, some kind of proof of concept using these resistors. Okay, let's desolder. So I'll heat uh, uh, the solder up first. Oops. And I'll put the solder pump down to the solder joint and press. Got the resistors off. This one I kind of uh, ruined. So this is going to be hard to use, so I'll throw that away. What has happened now is that I figured out that my first attempt would not work because uh, there's just too little current going through the circuit. So, uh, that's why I come up with this one. Uh, it probably needs some adjusting, maybe some resistors here and there, I'm not sure yet. This is just a quick uh, thing I drew up right now. Um, and I need to do some uh, simulations. Things does not work out uh, the way you want it to always, so uh, the first prototype failed, it was uh, terrible, it didn't work at all. Second one, uh, I kind of um, misplaced uh, uh, the LED light, so it would light when the, wa the, when the plant did not need water. Yeah, I think I'm up to my fourth or fifth prototype right now. I drew the little one down there with two transistors. Okay, another problem um, appeared. I was just down at the office to get uh, the components that I needed so that I could solder here back home. But when I got back home, I had forgot the components. Yeah, so I'm going to do a simulation now. Uh, I have to get familiar with the simulation program on Debian. So, I, uh, I tried to simulate the circuit, but I had really difficulties figuring out the Debian Linux version of uh, Spice. It was, uh, it was very, there was, I couldn't find any good tutorials, so I struggled, struggled for a little bit, then I just, uh, I had to go uh, somewhere. So, uh, instead I went to back to the office and picked up the parts that I had uh, forgot and uh, now I'm ready to solder uh, another prototype. I found this old strip board here uh, at home with some old components. The plan is to use uh, this middle part and cut off the um, cut off on both sides. So let's solder. Okay, the solder iron is at 350 degrees. Oh, 
it actually went into my eye. <laughs> that was lucky. I heard that you're supposed to wear goggles when you solder. So, kids at home, wear goggles. Maybe I will someday as well. When I grow up. Okay, I'm going to cut the board uh, so that um, I get a small, uh, nice piece that I can use in the plants. Right. So the good thing about this is that uh, we get uh, get a nice strip down on the back there, which which we can use as probes. Okay, this is the. Um... I don't know, fourth prototype maybe. I hooked it up to a, a voltage, um, a, a power supply, uh, put three volts on it because that's uh, what I'm planning to use to, uh, to AA batteries. After I measured uh, some of the plants today, I found that uh, some um, uh, a dry plant had approximately 500 uh, kilo ohms of resistance. And I tried to put the 500 kilo ohms, kilo ohms of resistance on the probes here, and it turned off. So uh, I need to think a little bit more on how to do this. This does not work properly yet. Okay, I just um, made some improvements to the prototype. I added another resistor to make sure I controlled the current in one of the transistors, and then I. Uh, I increased the voltage up to 5 volts instead of 3 volts and now it seems like it's working okay things are working out pretty good now <coughs> my prototype uh, seems to be working I only tried it with uh, my plants which which are already watered and it does not line up so that's good uh, and I tried it with uh, resistors uh, to simulate uh, dry soil and uh, and I bought this battery pack today <coughs> so that I could uh, insert four batteries um, a small uh, I tried it with uh, f four f oh. I tried the circuit with five volts earlier today so I thought uh, three batteries would do but when I used three batteries it was not enough so I, I just put another one in and tried and it works so now the next thing is to go to Morten Hockey's house and test his plants because I heard that he does not water his plants uh, often enough. So let's head off to Morten and see what uh, the prototype can do. Okay, uh, I'm at uh, Morten Hockey's house, uh, ready to test the uh, prototype of, uh, I have not named it yet, but uh, the soil moist uh, indicator. So we'll try with that plant first, I think, and that uh, when I feel the soil it seems like it should not uh, not need any water maybe a little bit we'll see no it does not need water it does not light up okay and let's try the one in the window because that's one's really dry yeah Seems like it needs some water. <laughs> uh, maybe we should water it as well. Close and fill them. Alright, now it's good. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> 